Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome, my learners. Welcome once more. Now, today I want us to talk about a very, very important uh, um, subtopic. Uh, this is uh, creating awareness on prevention of soil uh, pollution in farming. And uh, the lesson objective is to ensure uh by the end of this lesson uh, as a learner you should be able to uh, know the meaning of awareness message awareness message then you should also be able to uh, know ways uh, we can use to create awareness message and reach the farming community reach the farming community so um an awareness message uh, is simply a, a a message that is targeting a certain group of people uh, to sensitize to teach them about something and uh, in farming uh, the farming the farmers or the farming community may be carrying some activities maybe doing some activities which they do not know actually they pollute the soil so to make them aware or know about that we create uh, what we call a message uh, on soil pollution and how to prevent it therefore the farming community may not uh, know that the practices they carry out actually do what we call put the soil. So uh, we can make the members of the community aware of soil pollution by creating what we call an awareness message so that they can know uh, more on soil pollution and how to control it. Now the awareness message the main aim of the awareness message is to teach to ensure they learn about the harmful effect of soil pollutants in farming so that is the main aim of uh, what we call uh, awareness message to ensure the members of the community are able to learn about harmful effects of uh, soil pollutants they usually use in farming so it targets the people in the community especially the farmers especially the farmers so uh, uh, to design awareness message uh, since we want to talk about the harmful effects of soil pollution the awareness awareness message should have the following uh, content. It should talk about the following one. So uh, safe disposal of agricultural uh, chemicals, containers, and plastic wastes. Wastes. Remember, the two are pollutants of the soil. That is, uh, uh, agricultural chemical containers and plastic wastes. So what should we teach the farmers in the awareness message is that they should do what we call safe disposal of both plastic wastes and agricultural chemical containers. Then the second one is use of correct type and amount of fertilizers and agricultural chemicals. The two again are also soil pollutants. That is uh, artificial fertilizers excess use of excessive artificial fertilizers and use of agricultural excessive agricultural chemicals so in our and uh, in our awareness message we should enable farmers to know that they should use the correct type and the amount of fertilizer and agricultural chemicals then now somebody may ask how do we do that how can we create an awareness awareness message and pass it to farmers 
or the farming community. We can do this through the following four methods. One is dramatization. Just come up with a play. And in the play, let the content be uh, safe measures on how to control soil erosion, I mean soil pollution. Secondly, we can do by presenting of songs, presenting of songs. That is also able through songs, we can communicate this message to the farming community or the farmers. We can also ensure uh, the awareness message uh, is passed through poems. Poems, we are citing poems, apart from dram coming up with the drama or dramatization, we can also do what you call presenta presenting songs and also reciting poems. Then from there, we can do what you call uh, display posters, which according to me, it is the simplest or the easiest method. And this one, uh, you can print or write awareness message on posters and uh, uh, display them to our farmers uh, so that they get the awareness message. Uh, I'll show you an example here. You can see uh, four different uh, posters uh, made by students. Uh, we believe they are grade 7 students. The first one is saying, do not dump used agricultural chemicals, chemical containers, and plastic wastes anywhere in the environment. So this is an, aware mes an awareness message going to the farmer that they should not dump any used agricultural chemical container or any plastic waste uh, in the environment. Then the second one on the right, uh, you are able to see use correct type and the amount of artificial fertilizers and agricultural chemicals. So it is also advising farmers to use the right type of artificial fertilizer and the right amount as well as agricultural chemicals, things like pesticides, things like uh, herbicides. Then the fourth one, C, clean the environment by collecting plastic wastes in your compound. Now this one is going to maybe the farmers who are operating in an environment that is already polluted. So what should you do? Clean the environment by collecting plastic waste in your compound. The last one is saying soil pollution is harmful to your health. Soil pollution is harmful to your health. Uh, very, very important uh, awareness messages there. So that is uh, the end of our lesson. I would like us to go through the subtopic revision papers, uh, sorry, revision questions. And uh, uh, under this subtopic, the revision questions, uh, the first one is telling us uh, to identify, give uh, three farming practices that cause soil pollution in farming. Uh, we learned four, <coughs> we learned four, sorry, we learned four of them. And the first one, we talked of excessive uh, use of artificial fertilizer as a cause of soil pollution. We talked of excessive use of agricultural chemicals, things like herbicides, pesticides, uh, those are uh, also able to cause soil pollution. Uh, actually, we talk of excessive. Then, dumping off, sorry, I'll correct you here. Dumping off used uh, chemicals, containers, of course, in the farming areas. So, used chemical containers, we talked about that. Then the fourth one is dumping of plastic wastes uh, in the uh, farm. Uh, second question, describe the safe farming practices that prevent soil erosion. So you are uh, in simple words asked to uh, list down safe measures that can be used to prevent soil erosion. And uh, the first one, you are supposed to carry out farming practices in a proper way. And this, you are supposed to do the following, use of correct type and amount of artificial fertilizer, as well as agrochemicals. You are supposed to use the correct type and the correct amount of those two things. Fertilizer, artificial fertilizer, and agricultural or agrochemicals. 
you are also supposed to do what you call safe disposal of used agricultural chemical containers in case we have agricultural chemical containers actually you dispose them safely then safe disposal of plastic containers wastes and straws plus practicing organic farming now we talked about this that organic farming is the growing of crops and keeping of livestock or rearing of livestock without using of artificial fertilizer and agricultural chemicals this one you are, don't use anything to do with agricultural chemicals when you are doing farming farming is uh, production of or growing of crops and rearing of livestock so we move to the next question um, how can we make the members of the community aware of soil pollution control measures how can we sensitize the community uh, on soil pollution control measures we can do that by simply uh, creating what you call awareness message and passing the message to the community now what is the importance of controlling soil pollution in farming important of controlling soil pollution one uh, we don't want the soil to be infertile so it ensures that the soil remains productive or fertile able to produce uh, over a long period of time but otherwise if you don't control soil pollution the soil will not be productive anymore the soil will not be productive anymore then uh, we have it promotes food security by making the soil more productive now if the soil is productive that means there is production of food throughout and that is uh, creates what you call food security food security in a simple word is the food is available and people can um, access it and it has all the new nutrients not only a certain type of food all the nutrients food nutritive food is available and people can access it then also it ensures safety of the farmers so that you don't consume uh, spoiled uh, food spoiled food so uh, i am going to stop there uh, it has been uh, 15 minutes of uh, lesson remember we started by talking of uh, the how to create awareness message so i will leave you to go through it yourself thank you so much